Word, Module 10, Building Forms. This module works with tables and it's taking tables to the next level where you can add what are called text content controls where you can give people that you'll be sending this particular form to options instead of just filling in blank cells. There'll be options with down arrows where they can select either dates or descriptions. So you're cre creating an interactive form. So the first thing you'll do is make sure you save this as workshop survey setup with underscore in your name and then the first thing they want you to do is to click size um, in the layout tab um, before we do that I just want to let you know it's hard to tell maybe if we were to do view and one page um, it is a, a very narrow size paper it's not your traditional eight and a half by eleven so if you were to click in layout um, they want you to change size, but I just want to show you in the page setup dialog box. If you click paper, it's a particular size that is the width of seven and a quarter and the height is only 10.5. So what we're going to do is actually change it to the traditional eight and a half by 11 paper size. So what the book is asking you to do is just click the size button in the layout tab and then click the first one. So it's eight and a half by 11 and you can see the width change. Changed. So I'm going to go back to 100% so it's um, a lot easier to see, to manage. So we're going to click anywhere in this table. It's, it's a very small table. It's just one row with four columns. And if you click the little box in the top corner of this table, that's the um, table move handle. And when you select it, it selects the entire table, whether it's four columns, four rows, whatever it is, it'll select the whole thing. And what we're going to do is choose, you have table design and table layout. We'll click, click the layout. And what we're going to do is convert this very short uh, table to a um, to text so you're going to click convert text to text and it's instead of by paragraph marks or tabs or comments what we want to do is have in between each group so the address the telephone number the fax we want um, a straight line that separates the two so it's in other and um, I'm not sure if you have it on the keyboard but it's um, it should be after the brackets above the enter key if you don't have this straight um, wide um, bracket it's actually if you hold alt and type on the number keypad one two four you'll get that slash so I'm not sure if you have it alt one two four and then click OK and then you'll see the slash there between the telephone number the fax and the um, URL. So that's what you just did. So you changed it from a table to to text um, and what separates the actual columns is the slash. Another way to get that symbol if you're having trouble with the alt 124 or if you don't have that key, if you hold the shift key and press the forward slash which is right above the enter key, you'll get that symbol. So the next thing we're going to do is if we were to look at this section down here, name, position, extension, if we were to look at it, they use tabs. That's what separates it. So we're going to select from name to top workshops. And this one, instead of it having at is just as text separated by tabs, we want to put it into a table. So you'll click insert and then select table and choose convert text to table and you'll automatically see that it knows that there are um, they're going to put in four columns because there was extra tabs in there so let me just show you if we go back to that again um, it reads this extra tab here as an additional see the tabs at the end you normally wouldn't have tabs there as an extra column so when you click insert table and convert text to table you're getting four which is what you want so go ahead and click OK and you have blanks in between we're going to use those and then if you click just below the table you'll deselect the table so now we're going to select 
top trainers and the one to the right of it. So s holding anywhere in that cell, hold and drag with the right mouse. So you're selecting both cells. And from the Table Tools Layout tab, we're going to merge these two so that there'll be one cell instead of two separate cells. And then do the same thing for top workshops, select both top workshops and the one to the right of it and merge cells. So you're making two separate cells, one. And then if you press tab key, it'll give you an extra row underneath and we'll select um, two more times so you have three of them in all. I'm going to undo one of the rows so that you just have two. So it copied the format from the one that we were in, which was top trainer and top workshop. So it doesn't have four columns. It just has two. So um, we added two more. On the bottom one, we want to make it one, one large cell. So hold and drag across and choose merge cell. So it becomes one. So you should have three that have four columns. Um, the, the fourth one has two and the fifth one has two, but the last one should just have one cell, one very large cell. And then if you are in that last um, row, if you press tab again, you get another new row. So place your cursor in the one underneath top trainer, at the one below it. So the one below it, you want, now you want to go back to four columns. So choose split cells and then make sure number of column, increase it to four and click OK. So you're back to the four. And then we'll press tab and we'll do that again until we have three more rows. In the last row that you just finished, select the three on the right and merge that, not the first one, just the, um, the last three and merge those. And if the, um, these are indicators telling you that there's nothing else after that, like name, there's nothing else in that cell. If you want, you can turn that off and you're going to fill in the information that's on page 10-5. So just to make sure um, that you have follow-up has a hyphen, otherwise you'll get it marked wrong. So follow-up has a hyphen in between the two words. And presentations is S, interviews is S, and job fairs has an S, and also comments. So what you'll do is you'll click save so that you'll save this current um, as the name that we um, typed at the beginning, which was workshop survey setup. So you'll click save and then you want to save it separately with a new name and in a different format. So you'll click file, save as, go to where you save your file. And the only thing you want to change is instead of setup, it should be form. So it should be, um, everything's the same, workshop, survey, form and then click the down arrow for save as type and you want to save it as a word template and that gives it a dot dotx and then go ahead and click save and we'll continue with the next part on the next video